Have you ever wanted to have a fire mouse cichlid in a community aquarium? Well, in this video, we're gonna be talking about fire mouse cichlids in a community tank. Coming up. Hey, what's up, it's Ty here, and welcome to my channel, Aquariums with Ty. And on this channel, I do a lot of fish videos as well as product reviews, so if you're new here, consider subscribing. And at any point in the video, check out the description below. I'll post anything I might talk about as well as anything I forget. Let's get into the video. So can you keep fire mouse cichlids in your community aquarium? The answer is yes, but they can also wreck your community aquarium at the same time if you're not careful. So let's go over a couple easy ways you can keep a fire mouse cichlid in your community aquarium. One way is only have one cichlid in your aquarium. If you watched my last video, it would be kind of a showpiece fish in your aquarium, meaning you have one bigger fish for some smaller fish. Now, the main obstacle when it comes to smaller fish or having a showpiece fish um, in an aquarium is a showpiece fish is typically bigger and when it comes to cichlids, bigger fish will eat smaller fish. So you need to make sure that the smaller fish are bigger than the mouth of the fire mouth cichlid. Now you can see in my aquarium that I have um, black skirt tetras and black skirt tetras are a great way to avoid the size issue when it comes to keeping fire mouse cichlids in the community aquarium. So size is one issue. The other issue is water parameters. Now, this isn't as hard or difficult as an issue. Basically, you wanna keep fish with your fire mouse cichlid that like the same kind of water as far as pH levels go. So wherever you're buying your, fit, your fire mouse cichlid, I would consider buying your other fish at that same location or same store just because they probably have the same water. Another successful way to keep the uh, fire mouse cichlid is to maybe not put a pair into a community aquarium. Pairs, when they start breeding and having babies, they get super aggressive and they will, they will guard their fry with their lives nonstop and just bully other fish to stay away from their fry. Like I said in an another video, I kind of repeat a couple things here and there because it's relevant, but they kind of create like a, a bubble around their, uh, their babies so that no one can get close. I actually have a feeding video idea coming up that will really showcase what I just said. Anyways, with that being said, either get all females or get all males. And the way I would do this is you buy multiple fire mouse cichlids, maybe keep them in a separate tank, um, as they start pairing off, break up that pair, you know, into, you can tell who the female and the male is typically because the, the male is a lot more aggressive, maybe more colored up, and he's also usually bigger. So, you know, swipe out the male or the female so that way they're not actually breeding because when they're breeding, they're more aggressive. So when they're not, they won't. So if they're all the same sex, they're not going to be breeding. One other thing is when it comes to cichlids period, not just fire mouth cichlids, their personalities can vary very differently, very differently. Meaning one can be super aggressive and one can be really chill. And it all just kind of depends on the luck of the draw. So yeah, that could happen and it could not happen. So I'm just gonna list off a few examples of fish that would easily go with fire mouth cichlid. Obviously the black skirt tetras, which are in my aquarium, that's my personal favorite. They get pretty big for a tetra, so the same concept. Anything that's a bigger fish that can take a take on a little bit of aggression, but not necessarily hurt, you know, other fish or whatever, those are gonna be good tank mates. So the black skirt tetra, the red eye tetra, the giant danio, and the uh, tiger barb. Also, another good one is the rainbow fish. Rainbows, they get bigger, they're active fish, and they're schooling fish, and they're not gonna beat up any other fish. So say you had rainbows and like black skirt tetras, for example. That would be a good community setup. Throw in a, throw in a fire mouse cichlid, and bam, you have a community setup with, you know, a fire mouse cichlid. That might not be like the most, you know, awesome, fancy looking aquarium, 
but if you're looking for you know some cool fish and you want to throw in a cichlid because everybody likes cichlids then it's a doable setup is what i'm saying the other thing i'm going to say is you're gonna hear people online say oh that won't work or oh that that will work but there's always going to be situations where maybe something you something that somebody suggested you don't do will actually work or something that you're supposed to do doesn't work it all depends on your fish and their personality so feel free to experiment but like i, I say in other videos be willing to make a change until you get a setup that actually works so if you're the type of person who you know you buy a pet fish and you just can't let go of it no matter what then be ready to either one set up another tank or be willing to find that fish a new home that's that's what it that's what it comes down to when you're creating a community aquarium and you're experimenting and learning about these things for the first time anyways in closing with this video i'm gonna throw in a few more bonus fish that you could put with your uh, fire mouse cichlid say you have a bigger setup you could throw in some silver dollars those would look awesome you could also throw in um, a red tail shark or maybe throw in some congo tetras that that could go in the same category as uh, black skirt tetras and what have you but they're a little more expensive and you know it's just another idea so what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. What would you put with Firemouth Cichlid? I'd love to hear and, you know, let's help think of some ideas. Maybe I'll make another video of like a Pokemon song of me just naming off some tank mates. Anyways, that'd be pretty funny. But let me know in the comments below. And if you're new here and you haven't subscribed yet, consider subscribing. Ring that bell so you get notifications. And as always, you guys, Aquariums with Ty brings you fish videos and product reviews. And I'll see you guys on the next one. I know I haven't really shown him a whole lot, but check him out. Here's Ocean, my betta. He's just your average betta, but I really want to make some betta videos on him. But I'm just setting up the rest of this tank the way I want it. Sorry for the, the gross. This is an example of overfeeding your fish. You don't want to do this. But anyways, I'll... uh keep the camera up so you can't see that but he's a he's a cool betta I love him you know I've had him for a while I haven't made betta videos just because I've kind of been practicing with the uh, fire mouse cichlids until uh, you know I wanted to get a little bit better before I start doing tons of popular fish you know uh, for my videos I know that's kind of a silly reason but I'm super awkward on camera and I, I just wanted to practice with the less popular fish like the firemouth cichlid. So, you know, beta videos coming up pretty soon. Anyways, what do you guys think about that? And I just got a basic setup in here, so it's just going to be, I want to do a basic setup video, so. Oh my gosh, he looks like he's sticking to that. <laughs> That sponge filter, check that out. Ocean, are you okay, dude? You know, he, he does some weird stuff. Sometimes I see him like down there, like he just puts his head in there and he'll like, he'll just like pin himself in there. I don't know why he does that, but, but he he's just a goober, I guess, I don't know. Anyways, um, I want to do a little bit more, you know, throw some handheld footage in there of, uh, you know, my fish and just, you know, talk about them after my videos or whatever. Let's see if I can get him in focus. Because, you know, I'm trying not to be so awkward. I really love making YouTube videos. There's a Nerite snail. I really love making YouTube videos, so I want to get good at it, you know, it's like an extension of my hobby, but honestly, I think making fish videos has become like my way of making YouTube videos, which I'm just obsessed with right now, so, boom, there he is, there's Ocean, my wife named him that, anyways, I'll see you guys on the next one, thanks for watching.